Welcome to day 32. It was a late start this morning. I woke up at 8. Kind of slept in because I'm still feeling sick. And I'm sick of this, literally. <laughs> because it's harder to work during the day when I just get headaches and my throat hurts. So I tried to, like, take a little bit more rest. That is a little bit of excuses, though. And I'm being a little lazy. Anyways, we are going to start doing some searching on Airbnb and scrubbing through a list that I have for active permits. The reason I want to do this is because if they already have an active permit, that means I can go and call them and see if they want to rent me their property every month. And I could already put it right up on Airbnb as soon as I furnish it. I don't have to wait. So we're going to see what we can do. And I got this idea from a friend and we're going to try it out. feels as though as I spent the last two hours getting nothing done and it's always with this stuff like I know I'm not good at it because I just it takes me forever and I'm just trying to set up campaigns at the factory here and it's just giving me a big headache I, I just want to like press go and like put the campaign in and start dialing but I spent two hours just trying to figure that out I just and I had to wait for a skip trace. I had to wait for everything to input in. And then even when I did, nothing went in right. And I still can't figure out how my contacts aren't showing up within the campaign. And I finally got them to show up in the contact section. Uh, technology is not my strong suit. Not at all. I hate it. I think we found our spot that we've been looking for the whole time. We got a restroom and a park. Like this might be my new office location because it's always annoying to have to find a place to go to the bathroom, but we can just park here. And I like to go for walks so I can go take a break. Still on the phone near my car. This is it. And near in downtown, basically Franklin area where I'm not driving out in the middle of nowhere and don't have service. So I think this is gonna be our office location. I wonder if I could sleep here. That would be the thing I, I really would wanna know because right now, if I if I don't have to drive somewhere else and then sleep there and I can just work here and sleep here, that'd be it. The only problem is I just risk, I feel like I get kicked out. I don't see any rules yet anyway. So we're gonna go find some rules. They gotta, they gotta have some rule book here. All right, we found the sign. You guys can't see it right now, but no overnight parking or camping is allowed. So not the place to stay forever, but we can have it for daily parking. That's, I like. So we got a bathroom, we can park, and we have the park. And then we have outside tables. All in one, just have to go to somewhere else to sleep. It's not too bad. So because I am a dasher, I received a massive coupon to get some food. So hear me out. We're gonna get a Poke Bowl. I gotta do it because we gotta, we gotta get some food. We gotta get some good food. And Poke Bowl, I had my first one in the airport. That was pretty good. And now I'm kind of hooked. We're gonna get another one and we got a discount. So I don't I don't want the PB and J again. I'm actually running out of food. It's kind of an excuse too, right? So we're just gonna we, we already ordered it. We already ordered it. So I can't even back out now. I just I got a pretty good discount go 30 to 40 percent off. I had to get it, I had to use it. Otherwise I was gonna run out of my code. And it's basically free food because it's not like it's not one of those markup things. Literally DoorDash is gonna pay for it. And it's free, it's free pickup. I'm not I'm not getting delivered. Hopefully it's ready when I get there though. I, I bet it's gonna be a little bit of a wait because it's literally just right on the road. But maybe we'll wait like five minutes before we drive down. All right, we got the bag. We got the pokey. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully everything's in there, like they said. I don't want to get scanned out of some coke in here. All right, looks like we got everything. Look at this deliciousness. We got some salads, we got greens, we got the rice, avocados, chicken. We got everything in here. Then we have these little ice cubes. I've never had them. And then because we have the discount, I was like, I'm going to try this. Because otherwise, I don't think I'd ever buy this. And I've never tried one. So always a new experience. Let's eat some of this pokey. That looks so good. My mouth's already watering. All right, so these little ice cream things are interesting. Never had them. Like literally just, they're little bites and they have like a coating around them. I don't know if you guys have tried them, but that's what it looks like. They're just a little coated ice cream droplet. Way overpriced, but quite interesting. We have been handling through meetings, calling people, trying to get land deals done, negotiating with off-market properties and just a whole bunch of stuff. But now it's eight o'clock. I gotta go to the bathroom. So we're gonna go try to like, I, I typed in restrooms. I wonder if they, they had public restrooms. So we're gonna go see if this place is actually open because the factory I believe is closed. It says it closes at six, but I've been seeing people walk out. I could try it, but uh, we're just gonna go try this other place. 
we are getting tucked in per usual and i appreciate you guys coming in again for another video i'll see you guys tomorrow peace